What's going on? It's your boy Richie here, just making a quick video about a small account that I'm growing for six months. Uh, right now, I just took my first trade. So this account is basically sitting at $157. So the way I'm tracking this is through forex21.com. So $157. If I'm able to do a massive amount of growth, that'll be 40%. But at the low end, I'm looking for 20% growth. So 20% growth for six months. This account should hit $416. And like basically it's it's not really making a lot per month and uh and when it comes to dollar amount, but twenty percent is a very high percentage. So just imagine if you made if you had a ten thousand dollar account and you did and you grew that for six months, it'll end up hitting twenty nine thousand dollars in six months. And then 12 months, it will be at $89,000 in 12 months. So my $157 in 12 months should be at $1,399. So 20%. So 20% isn't that um, big. So right now, um, kind of kind of going high for a account this size. Or whatever but uh, at the same time I'm actually looking at the actual margin on the account so right now the margin is set at um, $75 and I may end up switching accounts uh, after this because I, I do have a lower margin account uh, well a higher margin account that way uh, I'll have more free margin when it comes to my trading account but at the same time, it, it really doesn't matter. I just got to make sure I do um, accurate trades. And right now, if I if I look at um, when it comes to, say, support and resistance or whatever. Support and resistance, um, if you look at this chart, this is a daily chart or whatever. So at the very least, I'll say the support line is right here. That's what the support line is, basically. So, because it touches there a lot. See, it's one, two, three, four, here, here. Of course, it dipped down further, or whatever. This right here was just, it went down, or whatever. So, that was a, a different trend, basically. But this was a long term trend. And it went back up, and then it touched again here. So, where's the, um, that's the support. So, where's the resistance line? Well, the resistance line is actually exactly about where the market is sitting right now. So this is actually the resistance line where it's sitting at right now. So I got in um, at a good price. So if I'm making a dollar fifty per pip and in a ten pip move, I'll make fifteen dollars. So if you look back at the chart or whatever, so look at the chart I suppose I have at $188 by the end of the month today is uh, basically uh, was well, almost the first it's, it's October uh, 31st right now so but technically it's the first because the trade account I'm on um, shows it's the first so but I started at 157 so I suppose we only make thirty-one dollars for the month. That's twenty percent. So that's a twenty pip. That's basically me making twenty pips for the entire month on this trade. So if I make twenty pips on this trade, I could be done for the whole entire month. So that's why I had the max amount of forty percent. So I could keep going up to forty percent. So up to forty percent. That's two hundred and nineteen dollars. So 219, take away 157. So I end up making $62. So that in itself is basically like um, 40 to 50 pips in a month. So which is still not a lot if I if I stay with the current lot size. 
Now, I may just stay with this lot size even as this account grows and it hits $500. I'll still stay at the current lot size. It's just uh, from 219 to 307. So let's see. Um, 307, take away 219. Well, I put 216, but let's just keep it at that. So that's $91. Divide that by $1.50. So the very next month, I need to get 61 pips to make 40%. So a month after that, 430, take away um, 307, $123. Divide that by a dollar fifty. I need to make eighty-two pips after that. So sixty pips month two, eighty-two pips month three. I'll go six oh three. Take away four thirty. Divide that by one fifty. Oh, I okay. can't. I did that wrong. Um. What was it? it was like 175, something like that. And then divide that by a dollar fifty. So a hundred and seventeen pips. So I gotta get basically fifty pips this month, sixty pips next month, and a hundred and seventeen pips the third month, which is not really that hard to get. So um, they, if you actually look at, um, say, if a person tries to get 150 pips a month, divide that by four. So every week you need to at least get 37 or 38 pips a week or whatever. And then you'll be able to get that 150 pips. So that's not really that hard um, in actuality. And the trade I'm in right now, I could actually let this fall all the way down to a dollar even. So I, I'll end up getting like 69 pips of this one trade or whatever. So, uh, which is not bad at all. And then it is, it can fall further. Let's see, you take profit at, let's see, 0 0.9985. There, that's um, eight five. So that's um, basically fifteen pips. Plus eighty nine. So I'll end up making uh, uh wait. Let me see, sixty nine plus fifteen. End up making eighty four. 84 pips in a month. So it's really possible to get this. Uh, I'm making a dollar uh, per pip. So I can end up making like $126 on this one trade. I can even let it go down to 99.69 and just basically make 100 pips off of it and just double the account almost in one trade. And that's that's very possible with what we're doing right now. But anyway, this is the first trade for this account, first trade of the month, and let's see where this um, takes us. Anyway, thanks for watching my video, and as always, let's keep making money. Peace.